Please join with my brothers and sisters from the faith community, from all the workers that have come from around the state here today, and from those who are concerned about the common good and about a just wage for everybody. Since the economy recovery began in the mid-1990s, figures show that the economy has grown by 12 percent, corporate profits by 46 percent, and the stock market by 92 percent. Yet medium income for workers has contracted by 3 percent. The result is the United States has become the most unequitable and unequal nation in the entire advanced world. Why? Well, as the economist Alan Kruger notes, it's because of the steady erosion of the norms, institutions, and practices that maintain fairness in the U.S. marketplace. As a result, while companies these days tend to pay lavishly for talent at the high end, they tend to treat frontline workers as disposable commodities. Yes. This is not right. No. No. And this is because companies are having trouble making money. They're doing fine. Yes. They're doing better over the past five years than over the past 30 years. Yes. It's because the rewards have been sent into profits and to executive salaries rather than to wages. Yes. This arrangement is not the result of some inevitable market logic, but of a corporate ethos that says that companies should pay workers as little as they can and no more. Yes. A living wage, then, is a moral imperative for our affluent society. And unions are the best way to ensure that this becomes a reality. Well, the minimum wage in New York State has increased recently and is projected to increase slightly in the future. It is still not a living wage. Indeed, $15 an hour is still not a living wage. May our government then hear the cry of the working poor and pass legislation that will provide a living wage. Yes. Only then, and only then, will our state's budget be a moral document that addresses the basic needs of all the members of the New York State family. Let it be such. All right.